Hi, and welcome to lesson 6 of HTML and CSS. All the code you see is available at www.tomakewebsite.com. First thing we're going to do is look at what we've done so far. So here's the page we've created. It's got a header section up the top with a picture there. And it's got three sections down the bottom, a left, a main, and a right. In the left side, we've created a table with some links to our other pages we've created. In the center section, the main, we've got some headings, a h2, a h3, and h4, which are all defined in the style.css. So today what we're going to do is work on the friends file. So if you just open those up, you just right click, open with notepad. We'll just go to our website and we'll grab all our code. So here's our HTML, we'll just copy that paste over the top of what we had there before, hit save, go down, and we'll grab all our CSS, paste that in over the top, and hit save. So let's open that up in the web browser now. And as you can see, this is our friends page. We've got a heading up the top, another heading here, some text, and some photos here. What we've done here is we've created two tables of two columns and one row, just to keep the, the information looking neat there. So we'll take a look at this now. Here's our friends.html. As you can see, it's got HTML, head, title, reference to our style.css. We've got our divisions here. There's our container, header, left side. Here's the table we created last lesson, which links to our other pages. And here's the information we've added. We've got a new heading here. And we've got one table here, which is that first row. This and this. Then we've got another table here, which is this section and this section. So what we've put in there is for this particular item, it has an ID of photo frame, which is defined in our CSS. We'll just quickly go over to the style.css and here it is at the bottom, hash photo frame. And all it is is we put a border of three pixels that's solid and a particular colour. And that gives us this border around the corner there. And then we've got our image tag. So it's img source and wherever your image is. Ours is stored in our images folder we created last lesson. And there's the image just there. You can reference an image from another website, in which case you'd put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the web address of the picture. Now something to take note of is this alt tag. This will appear if the image isn't available. It's a good idea to put some text in here just saying this photo is temporarily unavailable until you can look into it. Again, down here, we've got the Kuros section. We've got the same idea of photo frame to put that border around there. And there's our image tag. So that's how we get all this. Come back for lesson seven and you'll learn some more.